Do you know what is the easiest way to spoil your presentation? To create it as if it was an email. Hi, this is Piotr Garley and you're watching Effective Presentations Masterclass. Have you ever searched the internet for tips on how to create a great presentation? I am sure you've found tons of different sites giving you lists of what to do and what definitely not to do. And I can bet that almost all of them were tips of specifically on one type of presentation. They were tips on how to prepare a stage presentation. No agenda slide, big fonts, only big pictures, no sentences, just headlines, story, 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 no tables, no charts. Well, all of this is okay, but only for one specific type of presentation. And if you stick with this kind of advice whenever you prepare a presentation, you may fall into a big trap. And I see this mistake again and again and again. So here's what you need to know about presentations. There are three main types of presentations. Stage presentations, business presentations and slide docs. Let's begin with stage presentations. As the name suggests, it's a type of presentation for singers. No, just kidding. Uh, stage presentations are meant to be delivered on conferences in front of large audiences. And the main characteristic of this type of presentation is that the slides are just visual aids. The audience must focus not on your slides, but on you, the presenter. And many such presentations are delivered even without slides. Have a look at the best TED speech ever made, The School Skill Creativity by Sir Ken Robinson. It's a 20-minute brilliant speech with lots of valuable content, lots of interesting stories, lots of humor and zero slides. The main focus in stage presentations is on building close rapport with the audience. Telling stories, making an eye contact, entertaining them are the key things. Yes, entertaining. The worst thing we can possibly do delivering a stage presentation is to bore the audience. It is an unpardonable sin. Your audience expect you not only to give them valuable information, but also to deliver it in a funny, casual and entertaining manner. Your audience can easily get distracted from your presentation, so you have to keep it engaged throughout the whole speech. Stage presentations should have as little text on the slides as possible. Lots of visualization, demonstrations, interaction with the audience, pictures and a great framework story. To put it short, it must be a kind of a show. What should such a presentation look like? Something like this. Large pictures, lots of visuals, not much text, big fonts so that the audience at the back row can read it without effort, no details, preferably no charts, no tables. It all must be visually appealing, nice, smooth and visual, very visual. Do you want to know who are the masters of stage presentations? Definitely Steve Jobs with his marvelous and absolutely ingenious 2007 presentation revealing iPhone. Or Ken Robinson with his TED speech The School Skill Creativity, which I mentioned before. A speech without slides. If you want to master skills that will allow you to create great stage presentations, you must watch both these videos. Links in the description. The second type of presentations are business presentations. They are most frequently made type of presentations, I guess. They are given at small meetings to groups of a few to a dozen people. They are given at board meetings, supervisory boards, meetings with clients or business partners, internal trainings and product presentations. They are even given at schools or universities. They are intended to address issues at a deeper level of detail than stage presentations. While stage presentations are about informing and inspiring with a bit of entertainment, the business presentations are about transferring knowledge, hard data and much more detailed information. Suppose you're going to deliver a presentation at a board meeting with your company CEO being present. Would you go there with a slide deck full of pictures and a funny story? Or would you go there with charts, tables, calculations? Well, the second option is much safer and better.
The audience of a business presentation has different expectations than the audience of a stage presentation. They expect a very precise and detailed information. They expect evidence and solid arguments. They are much more motivated to listen and to ask questions. So there is no room for long inspirational stories, no room for too much fun, no beating about the bush. But it is okay to use bullet points, to use tables, charts and a bit longer text than in stage presentations. I use this division into stage presentations and business presentations, although you may come across a number of different names for them. Professor Andrew Abdel in his book Advanced Presentations by Design introduced the term ballroom-style presentations, and Bruce R. Gabriel in his marvelous book Speaking PowerPoint coined the term boardroom-style presentations, which I just call business presentations. But the first who recognized that presentations aren't all the same was Gar Reynolds, I guess. In 2006, he wrote on his blog Presentation Zen. Slides are slides. Documents are documents. They aren't the same thing. Attempts to merge them result in what I call the slidement. Slidements are something like this. They are a compromise between a visually appealing presentation and a handout which is given out to attendees of a conference. The trap with slidements is that they contain lots of textual information. The presenter explains the content with his own words, while at the same time the audience is trying to read every word on the slide. A way to avoid it, Reynolds suggests, is to create two versions of the slide deck. One version to be presented on stage, the other one with more text as a handout. I know it is a lot more work, but the thing is, do you want your presentation to be done quickly or to be great? Guy Reynolds is a man who made quite a revolution in the presentation industry, but it is Nancy Duarte who proposed a division into presentation and slide docs, which is the third type of presentation in my list. The introduction of this division, presentations and slide docs, was a cleansing revolution in the world of presentation. And what's the difference between slidements and slide docs? Slidements are evil. They don't work well neither as a presentation nor as a handout. Slide docs are well-designed slide decks delivered directly to the recipient via email and possibly printed out. They are visual documents created in PowerPoint, Google Slides, Prezi, Keynote or similar application. They are meant to be read by the recipient without any presenter around. And if there is no presenter, slide docs need to have much more text that will guide the recipient throughout the whole story, from the beginning to the end. The text and the images can be much smaller than in the other two types of presentation because the recipients will be viewing the slides at a close range, looking at a piece of paper or the computer screen. So here's these three types of presentations, stage presentations, business presentations and slide docs. Whenever you do a presentation, one of the first things you need to do is to decide which type of presentation you are going to prepare. This will let you choose the right tools to make the best presentation possible. Now you may be wondering what type of presentation is an online presentation delivered via Zoom, Skype or Teams. Well, it can be both, depending on what audience you are targeting. If it is a large audience hoping to be entertained, then you have a stage presentation delivered online. If you are delivering a presentation to a smaller group and your goal is to share detailed information about a specific topic, then you have a business presentation. Thank you for watching and good luck with your presentations. If you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to our channel. If you want to master your communication and presentation skills, Check out my book Effective Presentations Step by Step, available at Amazon.